What is up, everybody? Uh, today we are going to Alcatraz Island, which is a prison in San Francisco. Come join us, give be me and the fam. Should have a good time. Let's get right to it. Here we go, on the boat we go. Who's excited? Uh, me. Right now we're on a boat to go to Alcatraz Island. If you don't know, Alcatraz Island is a prison that is not used anymore. It's in San Francisco. It's in the middle of the water. It should be fun bringing you guys along. We're here with family Yo. on a boat right now. Let's get right to it. There's a boat passing by right next to us. So, a little interesting fact, there's a snack cart on the boat. Leah's eating a soft pretzel. We made it. We're here now. Time to walk around and see what it's all about. So there's solar panels on the boat, which is how the boat gets here from San Francisco, which is right over there. Here is a pigeon. He wants to go to Alcatraz. There it is. Bye, pigeon. Here's the snack bar that they have on ship. And we're all waiting to get off. And why we are allowed to be here. That is not the reason why it's a national park. But just in time, everyone's on the dock. So welcome, welcome to Alcatraz Island. Welcome to the rock. My name is Joe. So once you arrive off the boat, which comes in over there, you can stop and get a map right here, Alcatraz. It's one dollar, but uh, important, because then you kind of know where you're going throughout Alcatraz. But yeah, let's start the hike up to the main prison. If you don't want to make the hike up, there's a little trim you could take. I'm gonna bring you all the way up to the main prison, but we're gonna hike it. So on your way up to the prison house, they have a theater, exhibits, and a bookstore. So uh, you check out the theater, find some stuff about it, and uh, go from there. This is building 64, which had, uh, shows the apartment house, uh, military guard barracks, and some casemates. Let's go in. It's actually, you know, quite pleasant here. Never saw it. So we saw the movie. It's pretty good. And now we're continuing the hike up to the main prison cell. Here's Leah. Leah, what'd you think of the movie? It was okay. It was a Discovery Channel movie, so it was pretty good. We learned some stuff. So we're about to walk in the administration building. Here we go. Again. Right here's the armory. And the vault. So after leaving the vault area, we're coming into the warden's office. Where we'll find out about all the wardens of Alcatraz. And this is a small little diorama. So there was only four wardens from 1934 to 1963. And they were responsible for the disciplinarian administration tone for the prison. So they were like the dean, the people in charge. So we came through the gate outside of the warden's headquarters. And now we're really at the prison cells and the rest of the uh, main prison area. Time to look around. And we're walking in the main prison. Here we go. So this is where they would issue clothes. So here's where the showers were. 
communal showers. Bar of soap right there. This was it. This is where they showered. No private showers. Just everyone for themselves. So we're in the main cell house right now. So we're here at A Block. And we're also doing the audio tour. So uh, here we go, let's start the tour. So the tour starts here. There's four different narrators who were all correctional officers. And then there's four more narrators who were all inmates. So I'm bringing, this is what someone in a cell would actually look like. So the next part of the tour will bring us to the cutoff. Let's go in. And the cutoff we go. So this would already look like about six by nine area. You have your bed, you have your sink, you have your toilet. Two shelves. That's all you had. So we're now in the dining hall. Just a large empty room. Elevator was not there. And you try to look outside. You can kind of see it. Kind of see San Francisco. See a nice little boat passing. Here's where they got the food. And what's for meal, you may ask? Some dry cereal, steamed wheat, scrambled eggs, fresh milk, fruit, toast, bread, they butter, and coffee. Food. They did have some pretty good food. So there's a little overview of the map. We're right there. We're gonna go into D block right now. We're in a D block. Each cell row has a different block. So you got C block, you got Broadway. We're gonna go into D block right now, which is where all the solitary confinement prisoners were. Let's go in. More inmate cells. Here's some famous inmates. Al Capone, Machine Gun Kelly. Doc Baker, Birdman, Mickey Cohen. So going into a solitary confinement area. Three walls, and that's it. No toilet? No toilet, nothing. But you could not There was a toilet. Read this. There was a toilet. have to put a toilet in here. All right, so there was a toilet. But other than that, three walls, and that's all you had. They had proper like health stuff. And so to, to not give them a toilet, that would be like them sitting right. there on poop. Yeah, so but, they had proper stuff, but they wouldn't want to live there. Going into the library. They're not solitary confinement nowadays. They flood their toilets to get attention. We're in the prison library now. There was one bookshelf, two bookshelf, three bookshelf. That was it. Never mind. There were a lot more. Literate comics read 75 to 100 books a year. I mean, when you got nothing else to do, just start reading. So it's talking about one of the inmates who coordinated an escape while working in the library. He starved himself to slip through the little bars, but they didn't work out and he ended up dying along with two other inmates and two correctional officers. All the way up there, the gun gallery here we go into the recreation yard. So we're in the prison yard now. 
Yeah, some horseshoe pits over there. You got right here some shuffleboard. Over there would have been the little field where they played baseball. So speaking of playing baseball, we found home plate. That was it. So out from the prison yard. It's a nice little exit, which obviously they couldn't go through. There's a Golden Gate Bridge. And some very steep, very steep steps to go down. But obviously we're out of the prison yard. So, this was kind of just like an area where people could hang out. And obviously this place looks a lot nicer now than it did back when inmates would actually stay here. Let's find that light again. But, I mean, you still feel the somberness and a little bit of remorse for the people that actually had to stay here and go through all this terrible stuff that I had to go through, even though they were in prison. That's what you're looking at. And there's a swim back to San Francisco, but like they mentioned, the temperature is about 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, so be very, very cold. Back to where we started. We've done the tour. We've been through Alcatraz. We got stuck in a cell. We're not stuck in it anymore. We played some baseball in the prison yard. It's a fun time. You return your audio tour and you end up where everything ends up, the gift shop. And we're in the gift shop and we'll look around. Got some inmate slang playing cards, which has some slang terms that they used here at Alcatraz. This six dollars. Another kind. Oh, so, Fog City. Eight dollars for these, but they're the see-through because they're I guess, fog. I guess. Not really sure. There's some keys over here. A brass key. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars for a brass key from Alcatraz. Well, that'll do it for the tour of Alcatraz. Thanks for tuning in. Leah, did you have a good time? I guess. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty interesting. It was fun. It was cool to see where the inmates were. It was uh, cool to learn some other history about it. Um, we'll beat the tram. Don't worry about it. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it's free and it costs you nothing and it makes my day. That's what free means. That is what free means. Thanks for joining.